I'm Ginestra Ferraro. I'm a Senior Research Software UI UX Designer in King's Digital Lab, King's College London, and this is my SSI Fellowship application for 2022. I'm originally from Italy, and my background is in graphic design, photography, and advertising. And while working as an art director in ad campaigns, I fell in love with the web and started learning HTML and CSS. I moved to London and accidentally re-entered academia. I then landed as a research developer in the Department of Digital Humanities, and my role, my role evolved a little bit when I moved to KDL when it was first established in 2015. I pursued a master in computer science in 2018, uh, and I am uh, an organi organizer for uh, London Web Standards and State of the Browser. The reason why I, I am applying is as a designer uh, in an R&D unit embedded in the Faculty of Arts and Humanities, I've experienced the pleasure of creating products that enhance research findings in fields like digital humanities, social sciences, and cultural heritage but I also experienced the frustration of repeatedly encountering issues that could have compromised the quality of the work done. I work side by side with developers, analysts, project managers, as well as historians, linguists, physicists, and so on, which I'm sure share some, the same frustrations at times. In the past three years, I have been focused on defining what design can do for the products we create and how can we improve the development process to include UI UX design early on. Another, and the reason I believe we should do it is that it would benefit both the people working on research projects and the audiences accessing these resources. Both RSE and UI UX design have strong backgrounds. RSE has a strong established software development life cycles and UI UX design has uh, well-established principles and processes. Both have recognized roles within the industry and the academia. Uh, RSE has a broad definition of design, um, while UI UX has a wide range of outputs that could go from uh, survey report results uh, to fully interactive mockups. So I would argue, can design be integrated in the RSE workflow and not just added as a satellite? Can design roles also be RSE roles? The problem I see uh, is that we have two iterative processes that are developed are developed in parallel, uh, and they have little awareness of each other, which could lead to milestones not being synced and the dependencies uh, not defined or not shared. This could cause bottlenecks and frustrations for the people working on the processes, which on the on the projects, which also means that some efficiency is lost in the way we develop this project. The reasons why uh, design and development are not integrated well uh, could vary. And it could be that there are disproportionate resources distributed between the teams, which result in unbalanced workload, which could lead to excessive compromise. Uh, or it could be that during planning, uh, not all the necessary roles were involved. And uh, this could, uh, generate those conflicts that I mentioned about the, the dependencies uh, not being identified early. So what's my plan uh, should the fellowship be successful? I would like to uh, develop a workflow integration toolkit. Um, I would start from something that it's already in progress. KDL with myself is participating with uh, the Alan Turing Institute, Oxford University, British Library, University of Edinburgh, and the Natural History Museum uh, in a design interest group that is talking about these issues. I would also use some of the work done in the past by KDL, uh, such as the workflow, the SDLC specifically for RSC, and the definition of RSC roles within this SDLC. Um, but what I would like to focus on would be to run a survey uh, to assess the state of UI UX design within RSE. And this would lead to creating an integrated workflow model to accommodate both RSE and UI UX needs and a better definition of its role to possibly include designers, but also analysts and project managers. I would validate the work through application, and this would be applying the workflow integration to a case study. 
the outputs would be this uh, dimension toolkit, which would be created collaboratively and uh, available through GitHub or equivalent and open source. And some of the resources are, a sample of resources are listed here. I would also like to have training sessions where we could apply the use of this toolkit to sample projects and different use cases. And finally, paper publications for a blog post and paper submissions to conferences such as uh, DH23 or 24 and the RSC Society conferences. And that's it. Thank you for listening and I hope you will consider my application. Thank you.